That's where you find DC News Now's Kevon Dupree, who joins us live. And Kevon, you spoke with several contractors who are out there inspecting the damage. What did they have to tell you? That's right, Mark Tosin. Crews have been out here all day kind of assessing the damage and clearing the damage brought by yesterday's storm. I talked with one contractor who says this is the most damage he's seen in this area in several years. Now, last night we showed you a large tree that fell in the middle of Peony Drive where I'm standing now here in the Deer Park neighborhood. And that tree has now been removed and the road Peony Drive has been opened back up for people to drive through. Now, crews have been working, as I said, around the clock to clear the debris and all the other uh, elements that are in the streets, in, the, in people's yards, and on the sidewalks as well. One crew member says this is probably the most damage he's seen in this area in the last 50 years. Now, earlier today, contractors talked to me about some of the damage that they were seeing as they were assessing some of these homes here in the Deer Park area. The kind of damage I'm seeing today is trees that have knocked over siding, siding completely off the house, and fallen on the top of the roof as well. So it's more siding damage I'm seeing than roof damage. Yeah, no, there's a lot of damage. We're seeing obviously holes in roofs from the trees knocking down. We're seeing windows bashed in from trees. And cleanup and assessment will continue throughout the rest of the day here in the Deer Park area as crews continue to clear as much as they can following yesterday's storm. Reporting live in Gaithersburg, I'm Kevon Dupree, DC News Now.